the worst thing ever to happen to someone is to be driving on a freeway. The car is going like super fast and your car just instantly powers down. Two years ago, Candace Smith says she and a friend were driving on a busy stretch of Interstate 15 in Las Vegas when her car's engine suddenly stopped. And I started to panic real bad and I just like looked over like this, like, oh my God, like, what's going on? The reason her car stopped wasn't a mechanical issue. She says it was her auto lender. The company, she says, determined that she was late with her payment and remotely turned off her car. And all of a sudden, the stair one locks up. It was super scary. So if it wasn't for the person that was in the car with me actually pushing the car over to the left-hand side, I think we would have been hit or probably dead. As a growing number of auto lenders extend loans to those with poor or damaged credit, they are increasingly turning to new technology called a starter interrupt device to spur timely payments and, they say, help rebuild credit with flashing lights, loud beeping, and the threat of remotely disabling the car. So there is a tough love approach with our technology, and whether it be a subprime lender, a bank, or a credit union, it's really how they're approaching the consumer, is with that tough love, we want to help them get on their feet, but sometimes it does require a very consistent reminder, and in some cases, the disablement of the start of their vehicle if they haven't made their payment on time. David Sailors is the executive vice president of Lender Systems, one of a handful of companies making starter interrupt devices. His company did not manufacture the device in Ms. Smith's car. This is a noise that the consumer would hear in the very last day. This is every five seconds the device is actually beeping at them as their way all the way taking the kids to school all the way to work. It's informing them that they need to make their payment contact their lender. However, if they don't, then the device at midnight, most lenders choose midnight as their time of shutoff. The device will not allow that car to start. Mr. Saylor says there are no instances when lender systems devices have caused a car to shut down while driving. There is no technology I'm aware of outside of what law enforcement is using uh, for theft recovery that would shut down a car while it's driving. Any, any of, um, of our competitors today would use a technology that would shut down the car only where the vehicle would not restart, not while it's in motion. Other device manufacturers include Spirion subprime vehicle finance lender. and Pastime, which made the device installed in Ms. Smith's used car. This device can help you keep track of your upcoming payments so that you can improve your credit history. They just basically told me if you missed the payment that the car would turn off in like a day. Pastime says that the company has no recognition of its device shutting off a customer's car while driving. They told us that the car is supposed to be at a complete stop. Like it had to be somewhere for a couple of hours before the car was turned off. Pastime disputes Ms. Smith's account, which she shared with Nevada lawmakers at a hearing last year. Others, like Mary Bolander, say they have had to carefully arrange driving around payments. You do not have a grace period. After the first day when your payment is due, in three days they shut your car off. And then you That's a violation of Nevada state law, says Sophia Medina, Ms. Bolander's lawyer. Um, so the contract that's required by statute when you buy a car, it defines default as anything 30 days past the date of the payment being due. Um, in the case of the uh, starter interruption devices, they have a welcome letter that they send out and it says, if you're two days late, we're going to turn off your car. Most lenders allow for 24-hour emergency grace periods, even if a payment is late. Okay, this is the little remote that you use. I have it. Yep, and when you have your emergencies, you have to hit um, nine, six times, and then it'll go and then it'll start up. It's like they control my life. If an emergency happens, my daughter got really sick with the fever, I had no way of taking her to the doctor. So for them to control it and someone have control over my life, it feels just absolutely helpless. This thing rules my life, yep. Critics say that the largely unregulated devices can be a threat to public safety and need to be reined in. One of the avenues that we're possibly looking at is a consumer class action case that would um, prevent the finance companies from turning off the vehicle prior to the 30-day default period that's currently in Nevada statute. In late 2012, Ms. Medina reached a confidential settlement with Ms. Smith's lender. Today, she drives a different car. She says she paid for it with cash. 
I would never get another car that has a GPS system or a pass time device in it again under any type of circumstances unless they were agreed to take the GPS system off.